Welcome to Grid Users. I'm Norad1 here on Spire Reignited, and I have just landed in Twilight Harbor, and um, we're getting really close to the end of the game now. And uh, the thing to watch out for in Twilight Harbor is the enemies in this level are so much harder than what we've seen in previous levels because the Norks finally got smart and decided to utilize the most basic of elements gunpowder or a close approximation of gunpowder oh man I feel awkward now there's this guy the barrels wow that was sneaky he like was hiding on that corner there. Well, hmm. Oh, what the? Yeah, we're just gonna have to let that ride. There's no way out of here. Um, that gun had a lot of punch. I had a lot more punch than I was expecting it to have. Okay, lesson learned. Moving on. Okay, we got this guy with the even bigger goo gun. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I sh was not expecting this. I feel like I should have expected this change, this drastic of a change, um, but we live in 2018 after all, so I guess I'm not too surprised by any of this. Um, so as I said in pre previous videos, I grew up playing the original Spyros and this level originally the enemies were like highly militarized okay so they had like actual um, rifles and like rifles and grenades the enemies had those in this level um, thank you for rescuing me Oh, I like what they did that. I like what they did there. They changed the lineup. I, I dig it. Um, but yeah, so they completely changed the enemies in this level. But I can't be too upset considering the uh, target audience. I mean, sure, there's a huge nostalgia factor, but... I think a lot of people are going to be playing this for the first time. A lot of younger people are probably going to be playing this for the first time. So, yeah, the original game, the enemies in this particular level and Twilight Harbor, very different from what we see now, but I'm not going to hold it against them. the lookout for North Commando, Spyro. They better be on the lookout for me. <laughs> and look, just when you thought you were done with them, another supercharged ramp. Isn't that just wonderful? But don't sound so excited. I know what, you have to use this supercharge to go back across and nail that particular chest because that's an unbreakable chest so that's the only way to get that one you're welcome and then the second thing we have to do is hit this switch which activates the draw bridge and then we're going to use it to leap off it <laughs> Pretty snazzy, right? 
Now you hear one of the uh, extra life chests is actually in a very, very precarious position. It's right here. Yay. But we found it and that's what matters. And uh, there shouldn't be too much left to this level. Um, we go through here, dodge that guy. Oh, that could come from. I love how they make the uh, sound effects as they shoot. That's pretty funny. I mean, let's be honest. You would too. Trick shot. Okay. Oh, jeez. Ah, dang it. I was close. I was close. But I just made too many mistakes. I feel I feel like I was just making too many mistakes there. So. <laughs> now, just because the enemies got redesigned does not mean they're any less difficult. missing some gems and I see them over there. Huh. Now I'm really embarrassed because I'm supposed to know where everything is, right? That's why I'm doing this. Because I don't have to like cheat or anything crazy. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know what's going on. Doesn't mean it's not any less annoying that I missed it. So, yeah, we're gonna go back down the super ramp. We're gonna leap up. Oh, yeah, they're... <laughs> they're only literally just staring me in the face right here. Okay, these ones, missing these ones, that's understandable. But that's 400 out of 400. This level is 100% complete. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, because next time on Spire of the Dragon, we are taking on Nasty Nork. <laughs>